Hello again, Gary Stearman. Time for another Prophecy in the News Daily Update. It is the 10th of February, a Friday, and uh, no doubt you, by this time you've heard uh, what Ayatollah Ali Khamenei said from Iran. Khamenei, of course, is the chief Ayatollah uh, in Iran, the, the chief religious leader, and what he says pretty much goes. Uh, he announced a doctrine uh, in which he said, that Iran has what he called jurisprudential justification to kill all Jews and to annihilate Israel, and that the Islamic government Iran, uh, of Iran must take the helm. In other words, he uh, is now calling upon Iran to wipe out the Jews, and he even suggested a method for doing it, uh, using uh, Iran's ballistic missiles. He said three well-placed ballistic missiles uh, could wipe out the the majority of Israel's population. The rest could be mopped up by ground troops, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We're taking Iran very seriously. I have here a uh, a news item, <clears throat> Dateline February seventh, uh, from Debka file, and it's talking about Operation Bold Alligator, 2012. Have you heard about Operation Bold Alligator 2012? Very interesting. Twenty thousand United States troops are now performing exercises on the United States East Coast uh, simulating a Persian Gulf land attack in which troops would be landed on the southwestern shores of Iran and would then move inland in a ground occupation of Iran. That, my friend, is war, and we are preparing for it. And I read, some 20,000 Marines, seamen, and air crews from half a dozen countries, a U.S. nuclear aircraft carrier strike group, and three U.S. Marine gunship carry, uh, carriers are practicing an attack on a fictitious mechanized enemy division which has invaded its neighbor. It is the largest amphibian exercise seen in the West in a decade staged to simulate a potential Iranian invasion of an allied Persian Gulf country and a marine landing on the Iranian coast. There you go. Uh, this is, I, I think, getting serious. That is to say, we've been talking uh, war in the Gulf of uh, the Persian Gulf. We have been seeing aircraft carrier strike groups move in and out of the region. We've seen Iran carrying on its own war games, and now the United States has Operation Bold Alligator 2012. I don't know where they got that name, but uh, Bold Alligator is designed to launch a, uh, an offensive on the southwest coast of Iran. Based largely on uh, U.S. personnel and hardware, French, British, Italian, Dutch, Australian, and New Zealand uh, military elements have been integrated into this drill. Bold Alligator went into its operational phase Monday, February 6th, the same day as a large-scale exercise began in southern Iran opposite the Strait of Hormuz. Uh, this simultaneity attests to the preparation for a U.S.-Iranian showdown involving Israel. Behind the words of a, uh, back, if you may remember this, on February 5th, uh, when U.S. President Barack Obama said, quote, I don't think Israel has decided whether to attack Iran. Now, it's well known that our executive branch is trying to talk Israel out of attacking Iran and saying, in effect, leave it to us, the United States will attack Iran when the time is right. So, Bold Alligator is uh, in its operational phase right now. And Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, who is the chief Ayatollah of Iran, reacted to all this <clears throat> by saying, quote, if the United States attacks Iran, the war itself will be ten times as detrimental to the U.S. as it will to us. In other words, they're still threatening to hurl nuclear weapons. Uh, and some say they have them. Some say they won't have them for a few months. Uh, the estimate now has been reduced to five months. Uh, that is the, the most distant estimate of when Iran will actually have nuclear weapons is, has, has now been reduced to about five months. 
Uh, some say they already have them. I'm one of those who believe they've had them for a while. And so it goes. The exercise scheduled to end February 14th, a week before the winding up of the Iranian drill, after which the participants are to be shipped out to Persian Gulf positions opposite Iran. And so the United States is now defending the Persian Gulf against Iran. Again, this lines up with Scripture very, very well, and we've talked about this for years, although this is the first time we've been able to, to link it to an, an actual uh, newspaper clipping or a news release. In Ezekiel 38, 13, in the, the great Middle Eastern war that's prophesied there, now you may recall these words, Sheba and Dedan and the merchants of Tarshish with all the young lions thereof shall say unto thee, Art thou come to take a spoil? Sheba and Dedan would be the countries from Kuwait on south into the United Arab Emirates. Uh, Sheba and Dedan are the ancient occupants of what is today called uh, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emir Emirates, Yemen, and Kuwait. And, of course, these would be the oil-producing countries that we are protecting with our military forces. Uh, to wit, Operation Bold Alligator 2012. Um, in the Bible, Sheba and Dedan are seen to be in league with the merchants of Tarshish. And many times we've said the merchants of Tarshish are the oil producers. And we have very, very ample scriptural ev evidence for this. Sheba, Dedan, and the merchants of Tarshish, with all the young lions thereof, shall say unto thee, that is the invader, Art thou come to take a spoil? Hast thou gathered thy company to take a prey, to gather away silver and gold, and take cattle and goods, and to take great treasure? So, here we have the uh, confrontation when the enemy strikes, and we have the merchants of Tarshish allied with Sheba and Dedan. Well, my friends, this is exactly what we're reading about. We read about Operation Bold Alligator 2012. Uh, the exercise going on right now, scheduled to end February 14th, a week before the winding up of the Iranian drill, after which the participants in Bold Alligator 2012 are to be shipped out to the Persian Gulf in positions opposite Iran. Altogether, and get this, altogether, three American aircraft carrier strike groups, the French Charles de Gaulle aircraft carrier, and four or five United States Marine amphibian vessels will be posted there. And this is only the beginning. Can you say war in the Middle East? The Bible says it. We've been watching it, and our main interest in it is because it's the timepiece. It is a prophetic timepiece that tells us where we are in Bible prophecy. Uh, we're watching this with increasing interest, I much, must say. And, and if you've been watching these updates for the past few months, you know that virtually each day's update brings a more dramatic uh, disclosure than the one that was released the day before. The tensions are building practically on an exponential basis now. And when we see uh, a military operation that involves three aircraft carrier strike groups, and by the way, that would include boomers, the big underwater nuclear uh, aircraft or, or submarines that are capable of launching ICBMs. In those aircraft carrier strike groups, there's more firepower in each one of those than uh, was released in the entirety of World War II. So, uh, wow. Stay tuned, everybody. And, as we always say, keep looking up. <laughs>